Hello, um, this is how to make a paper balloon using just a regular rectangle piece of printer paper or computer paper, whatever one like you like to call it. And, uh, this is just, uh, really easy. So, we are, this, uh, project requires a square, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this, fold it down to the middle, and just fold it in half. Like I am, so just follow me. Fold it like that to so get this. You should have some excess paper right here. So, what we basically did, we just uh, folded it from this end, match down here, and then we made it line up so that there's a point, nice point right there. And now we are going to flip and pull back until this is perpendicular to this. So you just wanna, and that's how you make your square. But you'll have to cut it, so make sure. See, it's uh, right there, it's right on that line. And then you just want to unfold your square. Still wanna keep this back, undo that. And then you wanna cut this right here. So just cut or rip it. And just rip that long rectangle piece of paper off. Or you can cut it with scissors. But I like to rip it because scissors, you can never be really even. Ripping is just better. So put this away. You won't need that. And this says that's how you get a square. So um, you start off building a balloon with folding in half this way you should already have that crease from your square that you just made so see and then just trace it and do it the same way on the other and just like do the same to the other side this isn't matching up too hot So then you'll get an X in your square piece of paper like this. So now what you want to do is you just want to fold it in half. Just fold it in half. So that you get these sort of like a triangle right here. What you want to do you want to sort of push this up so we're, we're taking this we're taking this we're pushing it so that it goes flat like that just want to crease like that flatten like that so we get this so now we have that and we just want to fold back on the crease we just made and now we have this sort of thing See? And then we do it to the same side. So we just push like a triangle, push back, and that should be what you get now is this thing. So very easy. Anyway, it's kind of hard, but very easy. So now what you do is you take the top flaps, you fold them up to the middle. Both of them. Just fold them up to the middle. So they line up. And then flip. So you should have this. Flip and do the same. So you're making sort of a diamond. Fold them up to the middle. On the other side. Mwahaha. -ha -ha. And then you'll get this on both sides so you have a crease on both sides but you'll have a closed side like this which is your blowing part of your balloon and then you'll have an open part so now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these flaps will be two we're going to fold them into the middle like this just 
just like that. So what we did, we took the top flap, and we just folded it like that into the middle. And we're going to do that to all three other sides. So we're going to flip, do the same. So you get this on both sides. And you'll still have an open and a closed. This will still be your blowing hole. Okay, so now you're going to flatten. You're going to take one of these open flaps. You're going to fold. So you should have yours like this now. And you're going to take one of them, fold them down like this. So what we did, we just took this, folded it down, and now you're going to do it this way, again, and then undo that one. Don't do both. Do undo both. You should have a little pocket here that you made, right in here. So see, we got a little pocket. You might want to open it a little bit more. We want to take this, we want to just put it inside that pocket. So see, we just want to tuck it in there as far as it can. So then we get this, so it's tucked in there. Do that to all three other sides. So you do that, you fold over. And then we tuck it into the flap or the pocket. Other side, do the same. You should have two open pockets here, too. Also, you should just do that again. It's all copying everything. So now you're basically done. You should have those all tucked in so it looks like this. You should have two closed sides now. One with a hole in it. You can see that hole in the middle. One that's closed. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take two of these sides. We're just going to fold them together like that. We're going to do that to both sides. So here we go. And then that makes it just easier to blow. And then you should fold back. And just blow into the very tip of the hole. So let me do that. Yeah. And it should blow up. It should take one breath, so you might want to go over your creases again. And when you blow it up, it should look like that. So that's how to make a paper balloon that blows up. To inflate it, put your mouth on the hole, push in on the right and left side, and suck in. And it should go in most likely. If it doesn't, blow it back up. Yeah, you don't really need to inflate it. You can probably figure that out. So yeah, that's it's a uh, hollow. It's just really cool. You should have a hole. That's how to make a paper balloon. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.